He will not break a bruised reed or extinguish a smouldering wick until he brings justice to victory. The Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 12, verse 20. What can you think of that is weaker than a bruised reed or a smoking flax? A reed that grows in the fen or marsh, but let the wild duck settle upon it and it snaps. Let the foot of a man brush against it and it is bruised and broken. Every wind that flits across the river moves it to and fro. You can conceive of nothing more frail or brittle, or whose existence is in more jeopardy than a bruised reed. Then look at the smoking flax. What is it? It has a spark in it, it is true, but it is almost smothered as an infant's breath might blow it out. Nothing has a more precarious existence than that flame. Weak things are often described, but Jesus says of them, The smoking flax I will not quench, the bruised reed I will not break. Some of God's children are made strong to do mighty works for him. God has his Samsons here and there, who can pull up the gates of Gaza and carry them to the top of the hill. He has a few who are like lion men, but the majority of his people are a timid, trembling race. They are like starlings, frightened at every passerby, a little fearful flock. If temptation comes, they are taken like birds in a snare. If that threatens, they are ready to faint. Their frail skiff is toffed up and down on every ripple of the water. They are drifted along like a seabird on the crest of the billows, weak things without strength, without wisdom, and without foresight. Yet weak as they are, and because they are so weak, they have a promise made specially for them. Herein is grace and graciousness. Herein is love and loving kindness. How it opens to us the compassion of Jesus, so gentle, tender and considerate. We need never shrink back from his touch. We need never fear a harsh word from him, though he might well chide us for our weakness. He does not rebuke. Bruised reeds, shall have no blows from him, and the smoking fat flax no damping frown.